San Francisco airport. It's 543. It's been so long I haven't got up so early. Actually I feel a little bit nauseous. Maybe because I had a lot of supplement with empty stomach. Thinking maybe I gonna go get a sandwich or something. It's 11.30 a.m. I'm gonna head out to the Metropolitan Museum. I reserved at 12 o'clock, so we are now quite late. Let's go! That's pretty big. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, it's for my first time come here to visit this museum. Today is okay. Sometimes the line come over there. Oh, really? Yeah. I bought a ticket online, so I don't... Yeah, yeah. Still? Wow. Yeah, so That's reasonable. All the people come in a hat. So you can delight the all the way to 2-3 blocks, I'll tell you. Oh, enjoy the day, okay? Have a good day! <laughs> I'm here at the museum. Actually, I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything since I woke up. The driver said I'm too late. <laughs> I am, I guess. I should come at 10 o'clock. I just gonna grab something really easy. I don't want to walk around for four hours without eating anything. Almost done. Almost done. Next time I will wake up early like nine. There are so many collection areas. I can't definitely visit all of them today. I'll be focused on three areas. The Greek Roman art, American wing, and European paintings. It's not it's not allowed to record inside, so I will see you guys in a bit. I'm so tired. I'm gonna hide out soon. I was really too ambitious. I only finished. I cannot even say I finished. So, uh, so I just walk around two collection areas. One is European paintings, another is a Greek and Roman arts. And I also drop by the Chinese garden court because I really want to see it. And it does make me miss my parents a lot. I think most of people is coming for Fan Ho. I'm not an exception. Let me change to another hand. Oh, hi, the camera is so heavy. Actually, I'm coming for this picture. Arises. I just want to compare this picture with Almond Blossom and to see which one I like the best. So I've been to the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. It was definitely amazing. One of the most amazing museums I've been visited. And the one I like the best is the Almond Blossom. It's a very, very happy picture. I love people to be happy. And I think it's still my favorite. So another artist I'm interested in is actually I cannot pronounce the name Augusto Renoy. <laughs> so he's so good at using colors and describe the details. Look at this. So it's another French artist. I don't even want to try to pronounce her name or his name. Okay, I will just show you. Look at this picture. It's called the love letter. The lady, the dog, the flowers with the love letter in her hand. Her face even blushed. See it? 
That's so cute. Whoa, look at the line now. <laughs> no, you're cute. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Is it enough? Yeah, it's enough. You're from China? Yeah, I'm from China. Central Park is so pretty, but it's so cold. My hands are freezing. I don't know why I didn't bring the camera. Oh, no, no, no. I, my, my glove. I mean, my hands are freezing holding the camera. Why I've got to take my gloves? So we're hiding to Serendipity. I even watched the movie yesterday, you know, the movie in 2001 by the younger version of John Cusack. Really loved that movie. I even leave a note to the restaurant to see, can you please reserve the seat right behind the fireplace? Like in the movie. But I think they're gonna ignore me because, I mean, probably they receive millions of requests. See, they even have snow. It's been three years, I haven't seen any snow. Yes, Chelsea Market. Sometimes I think I have a New York soul, or rather say a city soul. I like museums, the bars, the parks, and the people. I love everything which is wonderful or exhilarating or provoking. I also know if I don't make one, I can always create one. to make one friend for coffee actually i've never met that girl before it's one girl from my previous boot camp we always discuss legal questions but we never got to meet even online so i'm so excited i'm heading to the subway station yesterday i was like always in a rush to catch all the reservations so i took uber all the time but subway is something iconic in new york right so i have to try
got back to the hotel, I'm still thinking the Fountain of the Opera. The show was so magnificent and mystical. The ghost is like a prince and the devil at the same time. He's so proud and also desperate. My eyes got wet when he said, "Touch me and trust me." I feel like he's nothing but a man. So I will go back to California tomorrow. It's definitely the best solo trip I've ever had. I feel like the solo trip is like a journey of me going outside and inward at the same time. You know, you go to new places, try new food, know new more friends, and also you experience, you connect, and decide what to do in the next step. I really enjoy the process and really looking forward to more solo trip in the future. I will see you in California. Good night.